Hello friends, this is Scott. You know how some days you just wake up in the morning and it's just like Christmas in July. Well, this is how I felt this morning when I hear a bunch of noise outside and I go look and the neighbors has hired somebody to uh, cut down some of their cottonwood tree and chip it up. Well, here we go. This is, this is like money in the bank right here. The driver said he, this truck holds about four cubic yards of, of material and uh, I believe it, I think it's about that, or maybe even a little more. But uh, sometimes in the city, you know, you want chip drops and you, you order them and you just don't know when they're gonna come. And when they do come, you've gotta immediately, you have a major job to do because if you, unless you wanna park in the street for weeks, you've gotta get this material moved. Well, I'm excited about this material because the school garden weed problem that I've been documenting, uh, this is gonna help solve that problem as well as I need some in my own yard, my own chicken run, and then also at the hobby farm, I'm gonna need lots of material. Now, I don't know how far this material is gonna go. Again, each truck loads four cubic yards. Uh, so, you know, it's gonna, it's like two pickup truck fulls that I usually get from the nursery. And sometimes I do two truck loads, sometimes three a day. Uh, so it's about approximately that about a amount of material. So it's not, you know, it looks like a lot, but it'll, it'll move pretty fast but I've got to move it twice. I mean, it's nice that these guys just delivered it right into my driveway, but now I've got to load it up into my truck and then I've got to transport it over to the various places. So, so I've got to try to get some cars back in the driveway, but this is load number one and it looks like a lot of stuff, but it's really good, small chipped. Now this is all cottonwood tree. Now I, when I've composted in the past, I, I was composting a bunch of the leaves of the cottonwood tree and I think that they're very alkali. So I think it kind of changed the, the chemical makeup of my soil a little bit for the detriment of my garden. But I think wood chips, especially when you have the green stuff in here and they start breaking down, I think most wood chips, if not all, just turn into kind of a neutral pH. So I'm not too worried about it. But they will heat up with this green material and the brown material all chipped together. So got to be careful how thick I make it because I want to cook the, the plants that I mulch with it. But this is going to take care of a lot of my weed problems. And uh, like you see, here's the... A look at the stuff good stuff and it'll again will break down and over time it'll suppress re weeds it'll retain moisture and uh, help with the mo any moisture issues and it'll add fertility over time so uh, this is this is the good stuff I usually buy the cedar bark from the nursery which is just shredded whatever trees this is what you really want to get this is the good stuff it may not look as good as some of the bark cedar barks but this is the stuff that's still much healthier for your soil and will break down into nice, uh, nice mulch. Now here's second load. It looked like about a third to a half of a truckload. So uh, adds another couple cubic uh, yards of material, it looks like. I don't know if I said cubic feet or cubic yards. These are cubic yards. So it's probably about six to seven cubic yards of material in both of these uh, combined, these two truckloads. But I'm excited. My mind's uh, thinking about all the work I got to do, but it's... You know, when, you, when you're looking forward to something, it doesn't necessarily uh, make it that uh, mentally challenging. But yeah, once I start loading up the truck with this, it'll take me a little while. But So now I got to get motivated. It's hot. It's a little overcast today, but it's kind of muggy and humid. So I've, uh, this has changed my plans for the end of the week. I was going to run down to the project or the hobby farm, excuse me, and I was going to have a dumpster down there and load up a bunch of garbage, but I have to wait, I'm on a waiting list for the dumpster. I've got a stretch fence down there, as well as I, pl I did pick up a couple shade trees that I wanna plant in, uh, in the pasture area of the hobby farm. So, so this material is gonna get used in multiple places and I'm excited to have this material and, and it's gonna definitely help with the weeds uh, at the school garden. So that'll be the first stop is uh, I gotta unload my truck and get this loaded up so I can start uh, at least mulching where I've already weeded and uh, you know, start getting a little bit ahead of it. So, But anyway, it was nice of these guys to allow me to have this material, and it was very convenient. It was right across the street. They were working. So some days it's just, uh, you know, it's your, it happens to be your day, and today was my day. So tomorrow and uh, maybe this evening I need to get to work and uh, get this material started to move. And thanks to Ernesto's Tree Service, Here's their number if you guys are in the Salt Lake area and, and need a great tree service company. They seem to do a great job, and they're very friendly, very nice people. So I appreciate them very much, and uh, nobody has paid for this advertising. It's just going to do it because they're nice people. Well, thanks for watching this video, 
And if you like what you see and want to continue to follow me on my journey and live in my best rural life in the city as well as now in the country, uh, please subscribe to my channel, like, share, and comment as I'd love to hear from you. Thank you.